Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you some small clips from the first episode of my TV show Tatovörne, which means the tattoo artists. Uh, if you're new here, I am Electric Linda, a tattoo artist since 2000. I usually talk about tattoos, uh, but I just am trying out other things and expanding my channel a little bit. So, do you remember when I asked? I wanted to cut my bangs and I said long bangs, short bangs. My forehead, it is big. Hello, forehead. Maybe I should have bangs. What do you think? Long bangs. Hello. Short bangs. Well, I ended up cutting my bangs short and they've already grew pretty long. And I think I like them long. So it's been a while since uh, I uploaded something new on my channel. And just a little quick update on uh, my latest stuff is um, a lot of things have happened. I have a one-year-old running around and he takes a lot of my time and energy. And I am uh, 27 weeks pregnant with my number three. So as you can tell, uh, I don't have that energy to to do as many videos as I really hoped I would do at this time. It has taken me a while to get back into filming and I'm sorry for that. Uh, so right now I'm actually... Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Okay. Where was I? Um, what has been going on since my last video? Well, I have been kind of tidying up in my Patreon. I am tidying up in my on my website, trying to make it a little bit more easy to access stuff. I have also signed up with Mentorly, which is an online mentorship platform. So if you'd, you would like to talk to me and ask me like questions, I've just started doing this. Just go check it out. The TV show has been on TV and uh, on the internet. Sadly, it's only viewable for those who actually live in Norway. I'm not allowed to show you an entire episode, uh, but I'm allowed to show you clips. And I have gathered the clips from the first episode, uh, and I'm going to watch those clips and uh, talk a little bit about them. And in the first episode, they kind of try to show our story as an introduction about who we are and how we got here. And uh, yeah, so let's just watch it. I mean, just look at those. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm a perfectionist. And I just hate my eyelashes here. And this was before I had my neck tattoo and I mean, but this was actually filmed for a pilot and that was filmed like two years ago or something. But anyway. Hun hadde fra før, ja. Hun da, for hun skal jo ha vinger, jeg vet ikke om det er syns en gang, ja. Eh, nei, de er bare så vidt streket opp. Hun hadde en fe som liksom skulle sitte og røyke sigar, men det så jo ikke ut som en sigar. Han som tatoverte der, tatoverte at hun røyker en joint, liksom. Og det har ikke jeg noe lyst til å gå rundt med. Så jeg sa bare stopp, 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 nå vil jeg ikke mer. Jeg må bare være dønn og ærlig med henne og si at dette her... 
Okay, this part is what I, I, I knew that they were gonna add this to the show and I was so nervous about it, of what I'm actually telling her uh, because I like to be honest to people but I'm also kind of afraid that they will take my honesty as something very negative and, but, okay. Let's just see. Er ikke det beste utgangspunktet. Jeg har ikke lyst til å pynte på det og prøve å gjøre det noe bedre. Det kan høres strengt ut når jeg sier det, men, men det er nesten som å putte parfyme på en bæs. Yeah, it's almost like putting perfume on poop. That's what I told her. I didn't want to fix her tattoo, because to me that was like putting perfume on poop. Which doesn't make it look better, be better. It's not going to make it better. It's just going to be, you know, something added to a piece of shh, you know? And I don't like doing that. And I just hope that people understand this, you know? Because I was kind of nervous that they would just take it as something weird. I don't know. Jeg liker ikke å være så ærlig med folk, men jeg vil få dem til å forstå at jeg mener det. Man kan gjøre en quick fix her og nå, ja. men det vil bare bli hakket bedre. Og jeg vil ikke ha å gjøre hakket bedre, jeg vil gjøre det perfekt. Ja, yeah. that's me though. I can be very honest, and if I'm comfortable enough, I will be super honest. Because I really want you to kind of understand that to me this is important you know there's a reason why i try to tell you like it is if you know what i mean so and now they are showing my my little story a long story very short but you get a little idea jag har bara med erfaring lärt mig att göra en cover up så att du slipper att ta la sig första Folk har tatt tatueringer i fylla i syden. Alle de som har tatuert tribals på 90-tallet, de angrer jo nå. Så tiden har forandret seg så mye fra jeg startet til nå. Det var mamma som så at jeg drev og tegnet på pulten min og tegnet et øye, så ble det til en rose, så ble det til en trapp og en brå. Det ser ut som du tatoverer selve pulten. Du burde jo bli sånn der tatovør. Jeg bare, hva er det for noe? Så mamma dro med mig til den nærmeste tatovøren da. Du kommer til å angre hvis ikke du tar inn henne som lærling. Så titter han i portfolien da. Greit, vi kan begynne i morgen. Det gikk egentlig bare noen måneder før jeg faktisk var i full gang med å tatovere kunder. Og så ga jeg det mer smak og reiser rundt til i hele verden. Var med i konkurranser, vant priser. Det ble liksom en livsstil, det ble sånn turnerliv. Så det var super. I don't know if you know any tattoo people here, but that picture from that trip is like the biggest, one of the biggest moments in my life. At that exact second, I am on a yacht in the middle of the night in Long Beach, California. And uh, we were at the Ink and Iron Festival and late at night, we just decided to go boating you can see the first guy, he's from Australia, a very nice guy. And then you have Megan Massacre and Paul Acker. And then you have Tony, which is the founder of Tattoo Society magazine. And next to me is Bob Tyrell himself, which was one of my biggest idols when I started tattooing 19 years ago. And there he was like, Hey Linda, do you want a beer? I'll grab it for you. And like, hey, I'm like, wow! I was so starstruck. And there were more of these tattoo artists that were, they were my heroes. They were my stars, you know, that I looked up to. And here we were on a yacht in the middle of the night in Long Beach. That was, that was something I will never, ever forget. And and yeah, that's just a little, you know, two second clip of a picture in one of the episodes of my TV show. And I feel like, I don't know, there's so much more I want to show. I want to talk about, remember, but you know, it's like, 
It's just a quick little photo in an episode in a TV show that's only viewable in little Norway. That's weird. Okay, but after that, when I started Eget, it became more racing. I tried to steer this scooter myself. I'm a designer. I'm not like a sort of career guy with business fingers. I've done a lot of stupid and light wind and taken many snarvejer. So I became sick for because of stress. I mean, just just one sentence like. So I was on a sick leave because of stress. And I could probably write a book about just that year. Where did that stress come from? Um, what happened because of that stress? And because I was away from work, what happened? Uh, well, five tattoo artists, they quit on me. And so I was alone with my apprentice in my big shop. We were two people there. No one to answer the phones, no one to answer emails. It was such a hard time for me. And, um, but yeah, they're, they are, have, have to shorten everything down so that, you know, people actually want to watch it. So they just taken out some of these sentences and put them together, adding some music and yeah. brev och sån advarsel om liksom förliksråd och alltså skipet har bynt att synka. Det var på väg ner. Men kännaren bynt att bli grinta och skulle ha pengar och Linda där rätt så sett han måste bara slå sig konkurs. Ja, och då kom ju helvetes jag in i bilden och fick ta möjligheten till att ta över hela bedriften och då göra ting på min måte. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you who don't know who this is, this is Marius. He is my boyfriend. You know, I was under a lot of pressure. I had stress and I was like, my body was aching. I couldn't tattoo. I had to uh, let my clients know that I'm not going to be able to tattoo you for, I don't know how long. If it could be a month, it could be six months. Um, I can direct you to other artists in the meantime, or you just have to wait. And then my boyfriend, he was like, well, I'm in between jobs right now. I could just, you know, come in and help you, you know, answer the phones or something. And he did that. And then I just went bankrupt. They came in and like took everything. Uh, and so he got the idea that why don't just I buy the company and start from scratch and run it my way and that's what he's saying here in the in the in the clip and for me when i saw this it was like i got chills when i when i watch it because it is the long story short you know i just i just hope that people get the idea and yeah how much this kind of means to us really here is his Continuing story. I was thinking to shop on here Monte. I was the left and listen here, let's do it. You stay up on this car. How to do some very much in the end, and I should walk out of the door in a grot there where I listen to Satan music. Do we will hell go in that cell where the arm opened or the seat fresh to it, and I'll go in and shit and do that. Jeg har ikke noe peiling på tatuering i det hele tatt. Jeg har en uh, tribal på ryggen som skal fjerne. Jeg skal ikke ha tatuering. Det er ikke min greie. Det er butikk. Det er enkelt og greit. Altså, jeg ser mer ting fra liksom, en kunders perspektiv. Altså, hvor, hvor hadde jeg følt mig mest vel? Da? Det skal være profesjonelt. Det skal være et studie for alle. Vi skaper en følelse. Vi selger en opplevelse. Ja, yeah. that was his kind of introduction. Like or our introduction, who am I in the series, who is he? Thank you guys for watching my little video today. I'm sorry that I haven't been so active lately. If you like this video, please share it with your friends or hit the like button or do what you want with it. Uh, if not, tell me. I know that I'm not in a perfect studio. I am here in my apartment 
the sound is probably not that great as it is in the shop but better done than perfect right thanks for watching and i will see you next time okay bye